And that shit ended perfectly. That shit, uh... It's a whole topic right there. That shit truthful. Spooked by the door. I mean, that's what, that's 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 the goal. If you're not doing that, then I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You can do that unintentionally, too. I can still respect you for that. If you just game getting game... Shit, look at, um... Yeah, look at J. Cole. Look at Kaepernick. They're, those those were not their intentions at first. I can Still. I know those were not their intentions. Black people are too afraid to to go to go against the grain. I'm gonna say go against the white grain. They're too they're too much in love and infatuated with white people. With the culture, they think they they can be a part of it, and we just cannot. We can coexist with it. That's it. I just feel like we have to know that we're black and we're right here and they're right there and there's nothing wrong with that but we, it's like it's a Venn diagram and we just keep trying to get to their side or it's a, it's an egg yolk which everyone we are we're trying to get inside the yolk it's just weird so why can't we be right here and y'all be right there and when I say come together for similar needs like if a white guy needs a haircut and I'm a barber I can do that that's simple but I don't feel the need to be sitting here trying to hang out with this guy and try to emulate him and be it's like nah like it's too much stuff that is there's forced interactions and all that and trying to present yourself a certain way to feel comfortable around them and I just don't believe in that Segregation made every generation after the 60s think if you're not cool with white people, it's because of two reasons. You hate them or you never were never around white people like that to hang with them. Segregation made us like made black people like white people at a handicap. Because now people are realizing white people will vouch for white people way way before they vouch for a black person. Yeah, well, they they see clothes. white power when they hear, especially people who are in our in our age range, watching videos. People are saying white power and fuck you nigger, and they see all that. But then segregation don't teach you that. Segregation teaches you we're supposed to be all one, Love that equal. Love thy neighbor. No matter what. Turn the, um, turn the other cheek. Our age range that know this or some of us that know this see this white power going on, this racism that go on and don't ask questions. My question when I was 15 was, why is it allowed for white people to say nigga but then I say cracker I got in trouble. Like I got, I got detention for it. Like I started, like I couldn't just, I couldn't sit, uh, sit aside and sitting down in history class, and we learn everything about white people, and ask my teacher why is there any not anything about black people or other, other than the two sentences, the two passages in one in one page, and she don't have an answer to that. I had to ask the question: Why is there more black kids in the fucking resource class than any any ethnicity put together in the special ed? It could be twelve students. There's nine black kids. Too many unanswered questions create somebody that want to know the truth. Or too many unanswered questions create somebody who not going who's not gonna give a fuck. Not giving fuck not giving a fuck is the truth. That, yeah, mm-hmm. that too. It just depends on what you're not giving a fuck is. Yeah, my you can be rational and not give a fuck. Or you can be irrational and not give a fuck. And I feel like you definitely need to be rational and not give a fuck and just realize when somebody lies to you, that's, that means it's the truth. If you say left and the GPS comes up mean right, or it says turn right, 
that means the correct way is right. So it's just, I guess, when he, when you don't get an answer, that's your truth right there. Mm. And the truth hurts. And that's the part that sucks. But that's being black. Nobody can. I mean, yeah, you can definitely say you haven't experienced racism, but you can't deny that it, that you can't deny its existence or. Once you see something that is true, like if you see the story of Emmett Till, you cannot deny that and not equate.